Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Today, well, we have one of one royalty, Claude Ohanessian and Hi, Alex. Lou. Alex, what's your last name? Chinqui. Alex Chinqui, our handler of this car. Claude, what is this rarity you've brought today? It is a 1938 Packard Sedanka DeVille, one of one. <laughs> one of one. Now, the rear end of this car looks like what? A Rolls Royce. And the front end? Packard. And here we go. So, we'll tell you the story of this one as Alex helps us out on this. So, let me move back to share where this is coming from. One more step back. Because this luxury limousine, well, I'll let you just take that in for a moment. Claude, you have not been a collector of cars, what some people would think, for a long time. What was your first collector car? What year? 1957 uh, Ford Thunderbird, uh, and I bought it in September of 2013. So how did you decide, okay, cars, come on with me, is now your thing? I have always loved cars since I was a little boy. Um, I used to know all the year, make, models of every car that went down the boulevard and used to name them and that just stuck with me and uh, when my kids both finally graduated from college I actually had some disposable income for me and uh, I started my collection. Now how do you decide to go one of one Packard limousine and this one was uh, in a collection for a long time. Whose car was this originally? Um, originally, this was the car. It was made by a man named Harry Hatch. He was the CEO of Hiram Walker. He was a, a, an incredible man. Um, and Hiram Walker is Johnny Walker Red. That's exactly right. And um, he had 27 Packards before this one. And uh, Wait a minute, let me comprehend that. He had 27 Packards. Before this one. Before this one. But this was one of them that he used to uh, have as kind of a special one. This was his baby. So after Prohibition, he wanted to expand Hiram Walker in North America and make it one of the largest distilleries in North America. He bought this car and he would have his driver take he and his wife from Toronto all the way down to Palm Beach. And... Um, People would say that they knew he was coming for, for miles because, especially at night, uh, the hood ornament lights up and they would see him and either they really welcomed him or they were scared to death and batting the hatches. Did they, does it still light up? It still lights up, yes. All right, Alex, may we try to turn that light on for that? Is it inside the car? Right enough with the uh, light. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I see the light in there. Yeah. You can see that. And as you can see, it's only one color, and that's white. It's original to the car. And everything, of course, on this car is custom built. And this is a Lolly Crystal hood yes. ornament. Yes. Lolly. Lolly, thank you. Okay, we'll shut that off. That's crazy. Alex, share with me a little bit about this grill. Well, when it's cold, it starts off with it completely closed. Mm -hmm. And as the engine heats up, there's a thermostat that, uh, one, as it heats up, it uh, allows each vent to open up to let air inside to cool the engine off. And it does that automatically? Automatically. Automatically. Or as I like to say, automatically. Look at even the detail here, and all of the detail on the sides. We'll get to the engine in a moment. Let's uh, go to the back of the car, and uh, we'll go to the interior next. But uh, before you open the back, let me just step back. This car is, I'm going to say, six foot three, height-wise, six foot four. I mean, it's a large vehicle. It is also 22 feet long. 
Maybe if you go bumper to bumper, 24. So we've got the Packard in the back. Look at the paint. Claude, I could see you perfectly. Right. <laughs> and the last time this car was painted was, uh, to my knowledge, was 1975. Oh, that is great. Let's uh, open this up, shall we, Alex? Look at the jewelry on it. Go ahead. So then there's a second hatch. Okay, so what, give me one second. So we've got step one is this. This is for the trunk. When they hit, when they want to go on a trip, they put a trunk, put back a trunk here, here, a physical trunk, and this supports it. Got it. Okay, so got that. Okay. All right. Let's go to the second hatch. Little components here. And so this was a uh, steel reinforced vault. And there were two vaults in here. That one that Alex is opening up. And what did he keep in the vault? He kept money in the silver one. Of course. And in the black one, he kept Tommy guns. He this kept one guns. here. Yes. So in case anybody pulled him over on the road, remember back then we didn't have highway yeah, okay. systems and we'll things like this. that, um, he could defend himself. So we've got some of the award list here. How did they come up with the name Sedanka DeVille? Uh, that's actually a name that Rolls-Royce used um, back in the day, back in those days. And uh, the Sedanka DeVille was, of course, uh, uh, the car for the very wealthy and to be driven around. It has something to do with the meaning of, uh, um, you know, it's open in the front and all that kind of stuff. Tell me about this picture. That picture is very interesting because it's the only one that I know of that was taken publicly of the car with the top up. And Harry Hatch was, and, and this was another interesting feature about Harry Hatch, the original owner. Um, basically, um, that top over where the chauffeur drove is a steel reinforced top. He wanted uh, his driver to be secure just like he was, as opposed to having canvas, um, uh, like most of the uh, uh, town cars back then. So we've got Fortune magazine here. <clears throat> and this is 1933. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take these. Mm -hmm. And then we've got 1939 Fortune magazine mm -hmm. with this combustion engine. And I'm just going to the open page that we had here. And this shows... Hiram Walker digs in. His enterprise at the time. Yeah, that was his distillery. We could still mail this order for him and get the next one too. There which you is go. Great. Yeah. Look at this though. Bottom line is, as you can see, quite the operation. And might I add, color pictures in 39, not too shabby. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's tremendous. All right. Alex, can I give you these to you? Mm -hmm. All right. And while we're closing the car up, I want to go to the back of the car. Thanks, so. Alex. And just look at some of the jewelry and the handlework. He had everything custom made. Everything was custom made. And as you can see by the big plate, body by Barker. To my knowledge, uh, this was the last collaboration between Packard and Barker. There were only seven collaborations to my knowledge. Barker, of course, was a bodybuilder in England that did all the coach work. It started in 1710 and did all the coach work for the kings and queens of England. All the little items uh, that you're tugging on there, they're all made of gold. This is the jump all seat. All the handles. Uh, that, of course, is a jump seat. This goes down. It goes down. Seat comes up. up. And the second piece comes up there in one moment. 
so this is a bar. The bar. And these are the original uh, pieces, correct? Yes, and everything in there is um, that was the original um, bar that was put in, and of course. His company probably served <laughs> served a few served. served a few drinks back in the day. Right. Our handle here, which lowers this window that and lowers actually that, and it lowers it a tilt, so the aerodynamics of the car um, yeah, don't get that off kilter. Ah. See that how it how it goes sideways yeah. like that? Okay. And then we have our seat here, right? Which can go up, right? This side here. There's cigarette uh, ashtrays on both sides, and the other side over there is where Mrs. Hatch used to sit. And uh, that, of course, uh, her favorite perfume was put in there. What? That's crazy. And these switches. And those I switches are that. for lights. They're, you know, map lights or whatever you'd like to call them. Yeah, that one's kind of a so night can, light. So she can look will. in her hair like right, this. Right, she can look at her hair. Yeah. Her lipstick, she can do lipstick. What's the buzzer for? The buzzer is to talk to the um, chauffeur. To talk up here. Right. Alex, point that out, would you? Right up there to talk to you there. Yep. All right. Okay. Very nice. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Um, we'll that, take a ride in that later, Claude and I. That's, uh, which that's is where, also which original is, material. Which is where we should be, in the back. Just maybe Alex can give us a ride. What do you think? That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Um, Alex, you up for that? I'm up for anything you guys want. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a plan. <laughs> Two screwballs in the to, back. To enjoy driving yeah. this car? <clears throat> what did you, well, for sale. What did you think when, uh, so Claude says to you, he goes, hey, I, I got another one. What did you think when he brought this one back? I thought he was crazy. Yeah, okay, good. Then we got the right guy. <laughs> Tell me what's here. Why do I... This is the window crank. Okay, window crank and this is the door. Door lock. Door lock. Got and it. The opening. Opening. Look at the mechanism. And again. Body by Barker. Body by Barker. That and is, again, if you notice, everything for the driver is done in silver, not gold, to differentiate between the classes. But again, he put a steel roof over the driver to ensure his safety from the elements as opposed to canvas. This is the turn signal. That's your turn signal? Right, we had, uh, what were they called, Alex? Uh, flagellators or yes, something like that? Like the British, they come it, up the yeah, side. Yeah, it's very European. Um, you'll see it on a lot of the European cars. Um, these, were the, these were the ancient ancestors to the turn signal. Dashboard is all original. Wow. <clears throat> the um, the wood is mahogany, all original. You know what? I just remembered what they're called. They're called trafficators. Trafficators. So, so there's a little a little, little ventilation. Sure. Alex, can you? Here's our speaking to the driver. Can you show me the trafficator? It is on this side. All right. So when he would turn the switch. The trafficator would go up in orange. So they would know that you're turning. That's right. Okay. Trafficator. And then as soon as you made your turn, it would go down. It would descend. Got it. Let's uh, open the uh, engine compartment, shall we? I'm going to do it while you're doing that. I will show the gauges. This seat probably rarely, if ever, sat in. Right. Right. No one sat up there. The mechanic. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So we've got uh, our air cleaner. Let me show that tag. 
So again, this was a 1937 chassis, Packers, and it was shipped over to England so that Barker could do the body. We've got our carburetor side. Let me just show the other side before we fire it. It's straight down there. line pieces that I've put on for you. We'll have to blow that horn too. All right, let's, uh, can we blow the horn without uh, firing it? Oh, that sounds like a tugboat. There's that horn one more time. <laughs> sounds like a diesel engine. Yeah, coming at you. All right, let's uh, show, show me what you're doing there. That's pretty cool. Just closing it all up. Those come right back there. The roof is in three pieces. And, it's, and it fits in there. All tucked away nicely inside. All right. And then it goes back out yeah. and flips back up. Then you just like back so. In. And now your convertible's away. Now your convertible's away. Wonderful. All right, Alex, let's fire it, shall we? Sure. Let me get on the other side. Nice and quiet. Are man. you kidding me? Nice and quiet, isn't it? Isn't it amazing? It's like a Tesla. <laughs> exactly a Tesla. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Have another beer, Claude. Yeah. Right. You're 38 Tesla. Yes. Yes. Elon, Elon Musk the first yeah, put right. this together. But to your point, it is very quiet. Very. And I'm just noticing the this additional, yeah, this yeah. additional number yep. up here. Yep. Let me just listen to, let me not listen to it. One more time, Alex. Oh, is that quiet? Just the sound of power. It, it's not, uh, it's not, not real. Loud. Yeah. And I tell you, that Super 8 is unbelievable. Yeah, that is crazy. It's an unbelievable engine. Alex, and he just... wanted a Super 8 instead of a 12. He actually asked for a Super 8 instead of a 12. Because he wanted this one. Because he thought that the Super 8 was more powerful, more torque uh, than the 12. Okay. Alex, if we, there we go. You're, you're one step ahead of me. We actually have lights on there. You can see the lights there. You can see the light bulb there. Obviously, where the gas goes in. All right, we'll shut this down. So, guys, stand together for a moment. Come on up. But I don't know if there can be, is, is, is there, uh, and, and as I understand it, when we're going to take this ride, you've never ridden in the back of this car. No. 
I've never, <laughs> I've never ridden in the back. I've always driven the car, um, either at weddings or driving my family around or friends around, uh, but I've actually, um, so, I've, I've never been in the so back. So me and you are gonna enjoy that. Alex, you're gonna have the keys. Yep. You ready? Oh, of course. Here we go. Nobody can believe what they're seeing. This is a one of one, Lou. So this I, is this is the only one that was ever made like this. How does it feel driving it? It's it's amazing to drive. It's a Super 8, and the the car is just amazing to drive. If you fall asleep at the switch, leave it in third gear, and you're at a stop sign, you don't get that you know uh, where it's difficult to you know cross the street like Al's doing right now. Um, the bottom line is it's it's just an amazing engine. You know you've got all the, the natural treats here. Right. You know, so whenever we need our Boots. get into the bar, right? Or or our jump seat for That's our extra right. friend. Right. We get that seat there. And of course that bar goes back to the original owner, um, Harry Hatch, who was the CEO of Hiram Walker. And he had the this liquor car, company. Right. Yeah. And he had this car specially built because he wanted to go on a tour of North America to build Hiram Walker to one of the largest distilleries in North America. He lived in Toronto, Canada. He had a lot of um, uh, voyages to England. And so the body is by Barker. Barker is the company that made the coaches since 1700 for the kings and queens of England and um, this was one of the last cars that where there was a collaboration between Packard and Barker in fact Barker went out of business seven months later unfortunately how often do you ride in the back this is the first time I've ever the first in time the see <laughs> Welcome to my car story. That's how we do it. Just like that. That's, that's right. That's right. I make sure I take care of you, Claude. I make sure I take care that's of you. Right. Everybody's been making you drive this thing. I said, hey, we're going to be in the back. Let's get, yeah. let's get Alex to uh, uh -huh. help us out here. Alex, you're doing great. <laughs> you're doing great. So Claude, I mean, this is this is the way we should be driving all the time in life, just like this. All the time. In the, in the back of the uh, Packard. Giving the King's Wave. Yeah, the King's Wave. Can you do to that everybody? One more time? Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. You got that down. Yeah, I got it down. <laughs>